Hello YouTube, my last video on how to lock something I recorded oh, a few years ago is on how to lock a folder in Windows 7. Many people got use out of it. There's also many people on Linux probably wondering, you know, how they lock up stuff. You can just always just change the permission of the folder and kind of be a uh, root access, just access the folder and all that stuff. There's a few extra more steps to that. I'm going to teach you the simplest way I know. And that's just zipping it up with a password. I put all my files I want to lock up in a folder. Actually, I just want to lock up one file. And we just put in the folder, and we open the terminal to the folder. Using the CD commands, you change it to the directory or a file which you want to lock up. And then we're going to use the zip command with a few additions to it to enter our password and lock it up. And the command is going to be zip E R and the name of the folder or file twice. And you press enter, enter your password, enter, enter it again, and you press enter, and it'll give you this information about the zip file, and then you're done there. You're going to delete this folder. And then you might want to empty your recycling bin or your trash bin so no one can go in to there and view the files which you attempted to lock. Now you got this zipped folder here and you cannot do anything to it without the password. And there is no, you know, secret loophole like editing the batch file like on Windows or anything. You need to be like an actual good hacker to figure out this password. Or, you know, you can always guess it, but doesn't always work. See if I try to extract the file, it's gonna ask me for the password. See, I typed the password in wrong. It says it extracted, but the folder is empty. If I go to extract, type it in correctly. The folder gets populated. Would you look at that? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you lock up files and folders on Linux. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, comment any suggestions for future videos or any help that you need. Thanks.